Hi there, Mark's from Mark's here, and today what I'm going to be doing, let me just throw this bacon in and I'll explain what I've been doing. Now before I turn the camera on, what I did was to put the chicken in the, in the frying pan as usual and cook it up and then as, um, as, it, as it goes from pink to white I've been cutting it up into small pieces and then even smaller until it, until it turns light, you know, to, to a, a light golden brown and when that happens then it's time to put in the sliced up bacon Uh, I've I put in three, three slices, okay, and now what I've been doing for the last ten minutes or so, I've been cooking two Cumberland, two Iceland Cumberland sausages, which you can't, ah, you can't see, but I'm uh, just cutting them up, two, um, so I've been, yeah, for the last ten minutes I've been cooking these Cumberland sausages in the convection oven, now they're pretty much cooked through, they, they just need an extra browning off. Okay, so in the frying pan we've got the chicken, we've got the bacon. The chicken is quite yeah, dark golden brown. The bacon will take uh, five minutes or so, or, or round about. Okay, and then in a few moments I'll throw in the bacon to, to cook that really good. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to throw in this Co-op brand sweet and sour stir fry. There we go. It's with mixed peppers, carrots, and onion. There we are. I bought this a little while ago, and I don't recall how much I paid for it. It was um, I don't know how much it was actually. It was a while back. It ran about the pound, or possibly under. I think. Anyway, so I'm going to throw that in, and also. Because I want it, because I'm right starving. Right, I haven't. Uh, I've, I finished work like um, I don't know what time it is now. About four hours ago. Um, and I haven't eaten since two, one thirty, two o'clock. So I've got all that. I've got the chicken, the bacon. I've got a bit of the sausages in the convection oven. I've got the diced potatoes, which I used on the Christmas dinner in a pie. Some of those diced potatoes. And I threw in the last, I, I had six onion rings left in the, in the bag. So I'm using them up just because I need to get, you know, just to get rid of them. Okay, now that bacon is coming, coming along quite good. Let me see, right, let me uh, show you that. That's the chicken. And the bacon, and in a moment I'm going to be throwing in the, uh, the, the the two two diced up Cumberland sausages. There we are. It's looking really good. I want the uh, actually I want the bacon a little bit darker. What I did in between the cooking the chicken, what in between cooking the chicken and putting the bacon in, what I did, I, I spooned out all that. I, I turned the you know, tip the pan, tipped out the, or scooped out the excess oil into the tub over there, and then put some fresh oil in there, and then put the bacon in. There wasn't any need for it, actually. It was a bit of a mistake on my part, but anyway, that's what I've done. So, there's some clean oil in there, and, uh, and yeah, the, the, the bacon is the, the same stuff as before. I bought a bunch of packets. Uh, they were like a pound from the pound land. Five rashers for a pound, which is 20p each, which is really is the, the best deal I've, I've found for bacon. Bacon's not cheap. Uh, my, especially my local shop. So the pound shop seems to be the best deal. You know, they, they, they come in five, so it's pretty good. I mean, so with, the, with, the, with a lot of packs, you, you, they, they come in seven or eight, you know, and so you, you've got to actually sort of use them up. But in fives, you know, it's, just, it's, it's easier to get rid of or use up. Okay, anyway. 
you know, every now and again, shake up the uh, onion rings and potatoes. There you go. These are, these take about 20 minutes or so. They, so they shouldn't take too long. Okay, so the trick is you're going to keep on mixing this. Now the bacon's coming along. Right, what I'm going to do, the bacon's looking pretty good. I'm going to put the sausages in now. <coughs> Them diced up sausages. Now these are really good. These are the, uh, the, the Cumberland, you know. Now, n normally, normally I'd be going for the, uh, y y you know, the, 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 the cheap ones. I mean, uh, uh, these are two pounds for 12, which is only, it's like, it's like about 20p. More expensive than what I've been buying at the co-op. They're about sort of 189 or something. 180 uh, for, for, for about 12 is, as well. And um, they, they, you know, so I mean, I don't know. It's, it's, they're just it's just that I happen to be in Iceland, so I thought you know that's why I picked them up from there. So I mean, they are good value. I, I worked it out the other day. I had it on the whiteboard for another another menu item. I think they're 16, so 2 quid divided by 12 is like 16 and a half P. So it's a uh, very good value. And they're, they're, they're very nice, you know. Anyway. Okay, so we got, so like I say, chicken, bacon, two sausages. Uh, what I want to do, in a, in a moment, I tell you, this is going to be some really good... That's the thing because I'm going to put this. I'm going to put the sauce in there in a moment. I'm waiting on the potato. What? what so when I put that in there, let that simmer for about sort of five minutes or so. Give that another mix. Yeah, that's coming along. Um, yeah, I mean, like, like I say, the, the onion rings. I, 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 I wasn't even going to add those in. It's just that I went in the freezer and I had like six onion rings left, you know, so I thought, right, well, you know, may as well get them out of the way. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort of like, as you can see, I'm, I'm tipping the pan slightly at an angle so all the, all the fat, all the, the, uh, the oil goes down to the bottom of the pan there. Not enough so the meat, a lot of the meat is not flying down there. Okay, just get rid of the oil because I'm going to put in the sweet and sour sauce. You know. Now, the, the other day I made a some kind of stir-fry curry or something. Uh, some kind of stir-fry. I made that with Uncle Ben's. Now, yeah. <laughs> Um, that was because it was on, on special, but normally, what's that? Oh, boy. Right. I should have lessened it. I should have opened this before. Ah. Before I started filming. That would have been, uh, better. Anyway, um, what, what the, uh, what, I can't, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, um, yeah, the, uh, this is this is the shop brand. Whoops, whoa, right, turn it down a bit. This is the co-op shop brand, and uh, the other day I used Uncle Ben. That was only because it was on special. But um, no, I, I always I, I've done lots of stir fries in the past before I started this YouTube channel, and um, I've, I've always used you know, the co-ops. Sweet and sour, it's perfectly fine. And it's like half the half the price of uh, the name brands, you know, for the same stuff. You know, I mean, if you look at the ingredients, they're uh, they're, they're pretty much the same. You know, I mean, if, if if anything, this is slightly thinner than the uh, than the Uncle Ben's one. But all that is, it's just extra water, that's all, you know. And that's soon going to start uh, evaporating away.
Yeah. And, and, and like, like before, let's see now. Like before, if it does get too thick, then I'll just put some water in here, swish it round, throw it in there. It'll use the old bits of uh, juice in there, and it'll thin out the, the stir fry. Okay. Not here there. Oh, that's not too bad, 10 minutes. So, see, so this, this is sort of like the condensed version, because what I did, I started to, I, I, I pretty much cooked the chicken all the way through before I filmed, because I figured, you've seen that before, you don't want to watch me cooking chicken for 10 minutes, so that'll reduce the unnecessariness of, uh, of the video time, you know, so we, we can knock 10 minutes off of that. So, at the very beginning, chicken goes in the, in the fryer, in the frying pan, it goes in pink, you start to cook it, it turns white. You start to chop it up with the, uh, uh, your spatula here, or, you know, a knife. Cut it in half, cut it in half, cut it in half, cut it in half, and you end up with lots of little bite-sized pieces. The smaller the better, really, I mean, pretty much. Uh, yeah, uh, and then, then when that gets to be the golden brown, because I, personally I like it dark and dark golden, but when it's light golden, <clears throat> what do you do then? They, they throw in the bacon, chop up the bacon into small pieces. I put three three slices in. Uh, throw that in. When that's all nice and uh, looks like it's cooked, then, you know, you, you can put whatever else in it. You know, like, you can put some pork, pork, you know, the boneless pork chops I used on one of my sandwiches. Uh, cut, you know, like, just cut that into small pieces, throw that in. Although at that point, it'd be better if it's already cooked. Uh, chop it up and then throw that, you know, be throwing, they'll throw in raw at that point. Uh, yeah, and, and sausages I've did in the uh, cons uh, convection oven, cut them into small pieces, threw that in the, uh, with the rest of the meat, let that cook, get that nice and dark. In fact, I might turn that up. This is at six and a half, all right, so I want this to start bubbling away because the it's almost, almost done. The onion rings, the onion rings don't take long at all. Uh, they were sort of about half the time of those potato pieces. And uh, yeah, those potato pieces have got from Iceland as well. I don't know how much they were. I don't know how much, but uh, yeah, I mean, they, they, were, they were fairly cheap. You can buy frozen potatoes cheap as now. Okay, so uh, yeah, we've got the potato chunks potato cubes. Uh, they were in for about 10 minutes, then I threw the onion rings in there, uh, took the sausages out, cut them up, threw them in the pan. And now we've got the sauce, so we're just letting it bubble away. That's all we want. We want the, but all the meat is cooked. All we're doing now is we put the sauce in, we just let it bubble away, let the, let the sauce um, cook through. It's kind of marinating, marinating the, the, the meat, if you like. And, uh, yeah. So this is going to be, a, oh, what I, what I didn't do, uh, what am I going to do? Yeah, I'm not going to be putting rice with this today. Normally, at this point, well, not, uh, some, you know, around about now, I'll be starting to cook the rice. The, oh. And, uh, but, but I won't be doing that because I'll be using the potato wedges and um, and the uh, sorry the potato cubes and the onion rings. Anyway, let me do a couple of shout outs. I, I've been the, uh, I haven't done any shout outs for a few days. And I've got uh, I've got about a few of them here. Let's see. Uh, interested in see a oh uh, George Corbin. Shout out to you. He wrote that he is interested in seeing me make a fruit cake in my bread making machine. Because but my, my new bread making machine that I've been demonstrating, um, I've done about two videos now, well, two, two videos, part one, part two, twice. Uh, one of them was a basic loaf and then a French bread. Anyway, um, yeah, it, it, I could also do jam in there, I could do sponge cake, I could do fruit cake, it's got all those settings on it. So uh, George Corbin says he's interested in seeing me make a fruit cake. So um, yeah, you know I, I, I might well you know it. it um, I'll be, I mean I'll, I'll, I'll look forward to doing that myself actually. You know, it, uh, thank you to, to George Corbin. <clears throat> right, a new sub. 
They're called CBS. CBS. There you go. Welcome to them. And another new sub, Christian Hunt. Christian Hunt asks, what, what city do I live in? He wants to know. Well, I live in a place called Milton Keynes. It's in the, the county of Buckinghamshire. It's, uh, I've, been, I've been living here almost all my life. Or all my life, all my life so far. Uh, about, let's see, must be 40 years. Yeah, 39, 40 years I've been living here. So, um, yeah, so uh, thank you for your question. Milton Keynes is the answer. There we are. Right. Let me, uh, the drink of today is, um, right, watch out, I better start doing some stuff. Right, a bit of, uh, bit of dead air here. Well, we've got a quarter of an hour, so... Okay, the, today's drink is the Co-op Diet Cola. It's actually quite nice. It's diet. Um, 65p for two litres. If you type in Marks for Marks drinks, then you'll see, uh, you, you'll see all the drinks that I've been uh, reviewing. And, yeah, I, I tell you what, I've tried pretty much, there's one left. Yeah, I think it's lemon and lime. I've still got it up there in the other room. I've, I've tried everything from the co-op now. The orange, the lemonade, the cola, uh, the uh, uh, orange. Did I say orange? Yeah. Anyway. anyway. Okay, so, right, the plate. And... Okay, right then, so we didn't, uh, let's see, get rid of that. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take the potato wedges, or the potato and the wedges, the, uh, keep calling them wedges. The potatoes and the onion rings. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut up the onion rings very quickly. Yeah, they've been in there. Just a, minute, a few minutes longer than uh, they were a bit crunchy. Now this is bubbling. Oh boy, this is bubbling away like crazy. Okay, now this is going to be quite a quite a dinner. In fact, yeah, it's just it's starting to thicken up because it's very loose. Uh, loose, um, very thin. When you when it first goes in, there's a lot of uh, lot of liquid in the stir fry. But uh, yeah, but but after a while, it, it thickens up. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is just going to throw these in. I don't want them to cook. Such. I just want them to get mixed in. I want to get them covered in in the sauce. Okay, get your spatula in there. Turn them over. I just want to get them covered in the sauce. That's all. They, I don't. Want, they, they're not going to be cooking. I don't want to cook the wedges, uh, the onion rings anymore, or the potato. Now I tell you what. There's not a lot else to add to this. Um. I mean, if I was to be like, you know, really extravagant, I might have uh, put some wedge, uh, some hash browns in there. But, but this, oh, you know what? What would be really good with this? Some of that homemade bread I've been making. A couple of couple of slices of that. You know, that would be quite something. Okay. Right, spoon. Right then. There we have it. That's the... Oh, right, we're coming up to 20 minutes. I better make this quick. So we've got these ch um, bunches of lots of pieces of chicken. 
three bits of bacon, two Cumberland sausages, some stir fry sauce, a bunch of potato pieces. Um, they, they were like, you know, cube size there. You can use wedges and onion rings just to finish off the bag. Let me tell you. Right. Let me hold that up. Mm. Tell you what, the, um, the onion rings, now that they've been coated in the, 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 the uh, stir fry sauce, they're, now they're really nice now. Mm. Let me tell you, this is actually very good. I think, yeah, thinking about it, if I'd have known, you know, the rice would be really good with this. If you throw some rice in there, you really got a meal for champs. Let me tell you. Mm. I mean, this is very nice, you know. There's a lot of meat in here. There's three types of meat. There's uh, two types of vegetables. I think if I could go back, I would have made some rice. In fact, um, yeah, it's a bit too late. To I could throw it in there and take two minutes. But mm. if you're going to make this, if you're going to follow my example here, rice would be good in this. You know, some pilaf rice. You know, perhaps some of that Mexican rice I've been trying, but definitely some pilaf or balsamic. You know, one of them like. Hmm. But this is good. The meat is chewy. You got the and and the onion rings. They go real. They go quite spicy. Not spicy, but. Um, Sweet and sour, they infuse the sweet and sour flavour of the sauce. The onion rings. Changes the flavour. Normally they're, you know, just onion ring flavour. Mmm. But I'll tell you what, you really ought to give this a go. This is, I'm very, whoa, hot. Oh boy, that was hot now. Yeah, I'm very pleased with this, how this turned out. But, like I say, I should have thrown in some rice on top of this. Give that a mix. Give it. Give me some extra carbs, some extra filling dinner. This is just what you need on a winter's night. Let me tell you. All right. Well, thanks very much. I'm going to put this over here, and please subscribe over here if you haven't already. In the top corner, there'll be a link to another video, and uh, by you know, click on that. That'd be great. Thank you for watching, and uh, see you in the next one. Bye bye.